Good morning, folks. This is a Saturn Superstorm update. The video and article are linked below as always. Remember, this is part of the solar system-wide electromagnetic event that is changing our planet as well. Update on Kilauea had record high lava days ago. It is now set to overflow. Safe docking with the ISS has brought the crew up to 38. That's six humans and 32 guppy fish space life test subjects. The Chinese launched one of their own, a navigation satellite, and an update on yesterday's methane story. Again, as always, all links are below the video. An unusual tremor struck Greenland yesterday. Another quake rattled south of Australia. Japan and Tonga both had large five-pointers. And a five-pointer at the end of the day left at least one person dead in Italy, of all the places, one day after sentencing. U.S. has issues of our own. Apparently there are five active volcanoes in the Salton Lake area. We need to keep close watch there. And also, apparently a large quake occurred within one kilometer of the surface at the Louisiana sinkhole. Love to get some updates on that as well. Europe, you have two lows encroaching. The northern areas are going to be very cold, and it's pretty much going to rain over 80% of the continent. This high pressure right here is keeping the cooler status quo for southern Australia and New Zealand. Lots of rain in the southeast expected. Lots of precipitation records for Wisconsin, Illinois, Minnesota. You can see that happening here. And since we can also see Sandy on the bottom right, let's move to the tropic watch. Tony is a lost cause out there in the Atlantic. Marjan made landfall in Somalia yesterday. Santine caused major flooding in the Philippines headed west and Hurricane Sandy. What can we say? East Coast, get ready for the retro motion landfall near New York. Just be ready. It'd be nice to be able to ignore the F1 layer critical frequencies, but they remain high after setting the highest mark of the year a few days ago. Unbelievably, it was one year to the day of the highest recordings ever of this value. For your edification, here's what's happened over the last 13 years. This is part of the collapsing atmosphere, magnetic shield failure, and every weather record we have falling. Looking at the active regions, up north we have a purely negative umbra with a lot of small development behind it. Best chance of danger here is the new guys in back. Coming down south to the formerly grand active region 11598, I believe she's lost the delta spot. Maybe gamma if the middle umbras become twisted. I'm thinking chances for big flares is very low. We are expecting coronal hole impacts at some point in the next day or two, and we are keeping an eye on those plasma filaments for instability. Let's hope the 6.6 .6 in Costa Rica, deadly Italian quake, and unusual Cayman Islands tremors were all we got. Remember, Saturn conjoined the sun yesterday, and Mars opposes Jupiter on Sunday, one day before the full moon. Eyes open, no fear. It's 5.35 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.